This is week 12 of iRacing's 2015 Season 2. The word of the week is rumor mill. As we close 2015 Season 2, rumors are swirling as to what we can expect in two weeks for Season 3 and a few features that might be coming later this year. More on those after the schedule. This week, rookies are at Lime Rock in USA. The Skip Barber car goes from one Autodromo to the next, this time in Interlagos. The star Mazda zooms around Oran Park. GT3 Blancpain Sprit and Endurance Series return for Laguna Seca. If you like ovals, I hope you're a fan of Texas, the NASCAR C-Fixed Trucks, Indy Fixed, and the Indy Mixed Open Series all visit Texas. As one more Indy 500 throwback, the Lotus 49 Series goes around Indianapolis, although I do not believe the Lotus 49 ever raced there in reality. The IMSA Sports Car Series goes around the worst chicane in iRacing, the one at the top of the hill in Lime Rock. Don't miss the V8 Supercar going around Phillip Island, the second most appropriate track for that car. If four left turns in the NASCAR iRacing series is just too much for you, you're in luck. This week, Pocono only has three left turns. Looking ahead in the Road Warrior series, two weeks until the Canadian Roof Cup, the Roof C-Spec at Montreal. Back to the rumor mill, we know we're expecting the new Aston Martin DBR9 GT1 car. That's right, GT1. That marks the return of the GT1 series, which will race alongside the Corvette. Both of these cars are rumored to sport the brand new new tire model, version 6. If you'd like to recreate the Snowball Derby, Five Flag Speedway should also be arriving with the new build. There are also rumors that the new build will include the ability to race against other drivers' replay files that you download online. There's also word that the dreaded slow down they think you've cut the course penalties will have a timer indicating exactly how slow you have to go. Farther down the line, there's word that the Legends car is soon to be replaced. There's also rumors about dynamic track surfaces where tires and rubber will build up on the track surface coming sometime calendar year 2015. Further down the line this year, we expect the Aston Martin Vantage GT3 and Mercedes AMG GT3 to join the other four cars. The Nürburgring should be coming along with the UK version of Rockingham alongside the United States Rockingham we already have. Also, the new F1 car, the McLaren, is expected to arrive. I'll catch you guys next time.